Good morning children. Morning. Children, today your friends Pravalika and Taruna will explain about the female reproductive system, fertilization and the childbirth through an activity. The important parts of the female reproductive system are a pair of ovaries which are located in the abdominal cavity, a pair of fallopian tubes or oviduct and uterus. The cycle of changes in the female reproductive system is called the menstrual cycle. It usually lasts from 28 days to 30 days. The ova develops in tiny cellular structures called graphene follicles in the ovary. Each follicle contains a single ovum. When an ovum is mature, the follicle ruptures at the surface of the ovary and the tiny ovum is flushed out. This release of the egg or ovum is called ovulation. A single ovum is usually released on the 14th day of each menstrual cycle. Then this enters in the widened funnel of the fallopian tube. At this time, if sperms are in the female reproductive system, the fertilization of egg with sperm cell takes place in the fallopian tube. So, fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube. The membranes on the ovum thicken as soon as fertilization takes place. This prevents another sperm from entering the egg. After the fusion of both nuclei of sperm and ovum, that means after fertilization, the ovum transforms into zygote. The thickness of the endometrium of uterus gradually increases soon after menstruation. It will be ready to receive the embryo. The zygote undergoes mitotic division while traveling down in the fallopian tube and transforms into a solid ball of cells calling as blastocyst. This blastocyst moves down the oviduct and finally attaches to the soft tissue of the uterus. It is known as implantation. Further development of embryo takes place in the uterus. For the full development of embryo, it takes on average 9 months. This period is called gestation period. After this period, child is ready to born. How the childbirth occurs, we will learn by doing an activity. Friends, think that this balloon is an uterus. To bear the growing fetus, the size of the uterus also increases. After the full development of embryo, that means after gestation period childbirth takes place. Now we will observe the childbirth. Childbirth begins when the muscle layers of the uterus starts contract and relax rhythmically. These actions are felt as labor pains. The contractions of the muscles become stronger and more frequent and the baby is pushed out from the body through the vagina. Now the baby comes to this world. 